Hey guys, and welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's Sophie Hannah here. I hope you guys are super well. Um, we are about to go and pick up a Christmas tree. Getting very festive today. Um, what's the date today? 28th? No, 27th. 28th. 28th of November. So I feel like we're allowed to put up the tree because I feel like next weekend is like, what, the 4th, 5th? I feel like we're a few days into December, so I feel like we need to put it up now. Also, Robin is away next week. He's going to New York, jealous, on Wednesday to see his friend because he lives out there. Um, so, yeah, Robin's going to New York, so me and the dogs are going to be on our own next weekend. So, thought we'd put up the tree now before he goes, just so then the house is feeling nice and festive. Um, so, yeah, going to go pick up a tree, put that up today. We're going to get a real one. Um, and... Yeah, going to have to have a little bit of a move about in the living room because where we normally put our tree, we've got our huge sofa from made.com like in the bay window. So I feel like I might put it in the corner where one of the armchairs is and move one of the armchairs into another room. I don't know. We'll see. We'll have a little play around. But anyway, let's go pick up a tree. Ugh, crying. So we had a bit of a disaster this morning because... Our car didn't start again. It's been the second time in the last week. Um, it basically gets cold and the battery basically just dies. So we had to call AA out to um, start it. Um, and he was like, drive around for 40 minutes. Anyway, so we just thought, we'll go and drive and get the tree. But when we get there, we will leave the car running, just quickly grab a tree and then we'll go home and we won't turn the car off until we get home because that'll be about 40 minutes of it running. Anyway, we just pulled up and Robin just turned the car off and he just looked at me and was like, oh, I've just turned it off, natural reaction. And then we put, basically we pressed the button again to start it and thank God the car's running. And then Robin was like, oh, bloody hell, just shit myself. <laughs> yeah, it's just too good. Just, oh, just funny. I mean, not funny. We could have just been sat here and had to call the stranded. AA out again, stranded. But thank God, touch wood, it's still running. But anyway, we need to send the car off to the garage to get fixed because there's clearly an issue with the battery or something in the car because this has happened twice now. Um, but anyway, let's go pick a tree and we're going to leave the car running and hope no one steals it. <laughs> right, so let's pick a tree. These are quite cute actually, nice and small. These ones are huge. Just get a little one. Why don't we get just this little one here? A little one? It's cute. Oh, That's going to be too big. You're never going to be able to fit it in the living room. Yeah, you will. Do you want to buy a um, thing? Off we go about tree. <laughs> tree is in the car. We also learnt something new about the tree as well. So we've never done this before, and this is probably why every year our tree always falls over or like is slanted. Because they drilled like a little ball in the bottom of the um, tree, so that then you guide the ball into the base. And then that's how it kind of stands up straight. And we were like, oh my God, we've never, ever done that before. Um, so yeah, we've learned something new this year. And so now, hopefully, the tree our, won't um, fall over and break yeah, the baubles. exactly. The tree won't fall over and break the baubles or fall on the dog or anything. So yeah, right, get it home now. Christmas tree is all done. Paper Chase should totally sponsor us because pretty much all these baubles are from Paper Chase. So colourful. 
go for a very colourful, like, rainbow retro vibes in here for this tree. And we put it in this part of the room. So, yeah, different this year, but I think it actually fits really nicely in that corner over there. Guys, I might have fallen onto some hair dye. Maybe, just maybe. Oh my God, I've got hair dye on my hair. I'm gonna wash it off in a sec, but yeah, I've done like a little bit of an ombre. Sorry, I'm out of breath because I ran upstairs. Uh, ombre, uh, purple to pink to peach on the ends. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to wash it out and style it, but just thought I'd jump on here and show you guys that I'm done my hair. Um, I have filmed the whole process, um, which will be coming out very, very soon. Um, which is why I didn't really show you guys much and I left it as a bit of a surprise um, but yeah so tutorial coming soon like really really in-depth tutorial I've done TikToks, Instagram, Reels, you name it I've done it all um, so yeah coming very soon but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like and then yeah I'll be back in a minute to show you guys the finished look all styled and all fabulous guys what do we think? Oh, so nice. I friggin' love it. And oh my God, guys, I have colored hair. It's been so long. I've been waiting patiently. So we've gone for a purple into a pink into a peach on the end. And it's kind of created this really beautiful gradient. Obsessed. What do you think? So nice. All fresh for a very, very secret photo shoot that I have tomorrow. So I'm gonna be busy tonight because I need to pack up a suitcase, I need to get my cameras all charged. But yeah, I've got a very, very exciting photo shoot tomorrow, guys. Um, this is kind of why I've been needing my hair back. Um, but yeah, obsessed, I love it. Morning, guys, I am so tired today. Woke up at 6 a.m., which is way before the time I get up. I don't get up till like nine. Uh, I'm so bad. I'm like a late riser and a late sleeper at the moment. Um, so feeling a little bit fragile, not gonna lie. But I'm off for a really, really exciting shoot. This is literally the biggest photo shoot that I've had in my career so far and probably will ever be, to be honest. Um, so yeah, really exciting. And I honestly cannot wait to share it with you guys. I'm hopefully gonna find out today whether I can share it with you um this week on this vlog um but yeah so exciting i'm going to take you along with me i'm going to film lots of behind the scenes anyway which i will which i will be able to share soon or hopefully as you're watching this um don't really know yet so i'm gonna i'm gonna film loads of bits anyway and if i can put them in i'll put them in if not i'll save them and post them at a later date um but i'll show you some little sneaky bits anyway um but yeah really exciting just mental like it's just do you know what it is i feel like i'm in such a weird surreal bubble at the moment and it's like is this really happening like even today when i woke up i was like am i really doing this shoot today like i keep saying like but it's mental anyways gonna head to london shooting in shoreditch um got an amazing team shooting today so yeah really exciting Let's get going. Let's dance. Uh -huh. Let's dance. Let's dance.
So, you know that shoot I did yesterday that you got a few behind the scenes snippets of? Um, I've actually just been given the go ahead to reveal what that was for. Um, I mean, I don't even know how to say this because it's just mad. But guys, I'm launching my own hair brand. Yeah, I know. I'm launching a brand called Sophie Hannah Hair. That's it. I've said it. Feels so weird. I feel like it's going to feel a bit more real when I actually launch it, which I'm going to film my reaction of um, me launching it in just over an hour's time. Yeah. How... I don't even... Do you know what? I d genuinely, I'm speechless. I don't actually know what to say. I've been hiding this from you for so long now and it's so weird that I can finally talk about it. But now it's actually come to it. I'm like, I don't even know what to say. But I'm launching a hair brand, guys. Like, it's just mad. It's been something I've been working on for like 18 months now. And I'm just honestly so excited to share it with you. Um, you are going to be obsessed with it. You are going to love it. Obviously not revealing the product just yet. Um, I'd love to know what you guys think though. So comment below what products you think I'm going to be launching with Sophie Hannah Hair. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys guess. Um, but yeah, I've been working on it for so long now. And it's just crazy that it's finally here and that I can reveal it to you guys. So if you want to be the first to know about the products and what's dropping and when it's launching, then I'll pop a link below to my website, sophiehannahair.com. And you can sign up with your email and you'll get all the information emailed over to you. Um, oh, honestly, this is so weird talking about it and like talking about my own brand. I'm so used to promoting other people's brands, but now I've got my own. Like, I keep saying like, I think, but I genuinely don't know how to feel or how to like digest this information. Even on the shoot yesterday, which went really well, by the way, honestly, like ev all the models looked incredible. The product looked incredible. Um, oh, I just, yeah, on the shoot yesterday, it was one of those days where it was like my wedding day where, you know, you kind of fast paced in a day, going about your business, doing your, doing your thing. And it's not until afterwards you're like, well, hang on a minute, I just shot my first campaign for Sophie Hannah Hair. Or like, hang on a minute, I just got married. Do you know what I mean? Like one of those days where I just feel like, oh my God, I've just done it. And I, I, I didn't quite stop to really take it in and digest it. And now it's done. And I'm like, oh my God, that, that's it. We're going to launch it now. It's so weird. But honestly, guys, I'm so excited. I'm so nervous. I'm not going to lie, I'm so nervous. Probably more nervous than excited, to be fair, at the moment. Because I've never done anything like this before. And I'm nervous because I don't know what you guys are going to think, what you're going to say. I really hope you love it as much as I do. I would never put a product out there. Like, just with my Sophie Hannah hair, like, YouTube channel and Instagram. I would never put a product... I never try a product and promote a product to you guys that I genuinely didn't love. And so I wouldn't launch a brand if I didn't love this product. I love this product so much and I really hope you guys love it too. Um, so yeah, it's super exciting and I'm so glad I can finally shout about it. I'm launching a brand! Um, yeah, it's been, it's had a lot of up and downs, but... Do you know what? I'm going to keep this short and sweet. I'm going to fit, film my reaction in, a, in an hour's time of me posting my first Instagram post sharing the news. Um, so you probably already know that I've launched a brand because my vlog comes out on a Sunday, which is a few days after because today's Wednesday. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be filming so... I mean, I've got so much content for you guys. Do you know how much content I filmed yesterday on the shoot? But I've got so much content for you guys. So I'm going to be doing a video of the journey of Sophie Hannah Hare why um and more about the brand because i want to tell you guys you know it's sustainable it's cruelty free it's vegan it's going to care for your hair as well as caring for the planet so yeah i will go into all those details 
in a YouTube video. I wanna put like behind the scenes, I wanna show you the process of me testing, because I've tested all the products out. I have tested, tried and tested everything before it's gone into production. Um, yeah, so I will tell you more guys, but for now, all you need to know is Sophie Hannah Hair, follow the Instagram, follow the TikTok, follow the YouTube page. I'll pop all links below for you guys. Sign up to sophiehannahair.com um, to be the first to know about all the products and where they're dropping and everything and just just be in the know, really. Um, yeah. So exciting! It's 20 minutes till I announce to the world that I'm launching a hair brand. It's mad. Also, I didn't even tell you guys, but I'm actually on my own. Um, Robin's gone to New York to see his friend. So he's literally just taking off on the aeroplane right now. Um, so yeah, so I'm actually at home doing all of this by myself, but I feel like maybe it's quite a nice thing because I feel like this is like my little baby that I've been working on and it's nice to kind of be with myself to do it, take it all in, um, read your amazing comments that I hope you're gonna leave. Um, let's hope Instagram pushes out my posts to tell everybody, kind of relying on them. But yeah, 20 minutes, countdown is on. One minute and I literally feel sick. I'm so nervous. I've never ever felt like this before announcing something on social media. <laughs> okay guys, I am about to announce the biggest thing that I've ever done. Oh my God, I'm literally so nervous, I feel sick. I'm about to announce that I'm launching a hair brand called Sophie Hannah Hair. I feel like I wanna cry. Okay. The caption's ready, the post is ready. Literally feel, oh my God, I literally feel so sick. Okay. Is everything looking good? I think it is. I've done it, I've done it, I've done it. I've pressed post, I've pressed post. Oh my God. I literally feel so sick. I've launched it. I feel like I'm shaking a little bit. This is mental. Why am I on my own right now? Robin's left me. Oh my God, I've launched it. What are people gonna say? Oh my God, this is mental. I've launched my own hair brand. It's called Sophie Hannah Hair. And I literally feel ill. I feel sick. I'm so nervous. Why am I so nervous? Like this is such an amazing thing. Why am I being weird about this? But I'm just so nervous. Like this is the biggest thing I've ever done. This is the biggest announcement I've ever made on my social channels. I just hope to God you guys love what I'm launching and what I'm bringing out. And I just hope you love Sophie Hannah Hair as much as I do. Oh my God, this feels so weird. Honestly guys, I would not be able to do this without you. So thank you so, so much. I really hope you love the products that I've been working on. I hope you love the brand. I've done it for you guys, this brand. I mean, I'm gonna talk so much about this brand, but you know, it's sustainable, it's cruelty free, it's vegan. I hope to God that you just, oh my God, I hope you love it. And this is just super exciting. Uh, like, thank you for being on the journey with me, just with Sophie Hannah. And now I would love for you guys to join me on the journey of Sophie Hannah hair. Yeah, I feel very emotional. I feel like I wanna cry, weirdly. I never really like this. But, yeah. Ah. So many nice comments already. Ah. Oh God, right, I'm definitely signing off now because I'm getting emotional, but yeah, this is so exciting and yeah. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say because I don't know what to say now. I'm actually a mess, oh my God. What, oh, this, honestly, so many emotions right now. I think it's when I do, oh, I can't even talk. I think it's when I do like big stuff like this and like achieve huge things. It just makes me think of my dad. Probably the worst thing to be on my own as well right now. God, this is, oh my God, I'm such a mess. I feel like I'm doing a lot better compared to how I was doing earlier. 
uh yeah i think i think it was just very overwhelming and just being on my own i feel like i don't really cry in front of people but i'm more of a crier like on my own when i'm lonely um so i think because it was just very overwhelming and just a huge thing that i'm doing and like i've put everything into this brand I don't know whether some of you guys might remember, but I launched um, Sophie Hannah Beauty a few years ago and I did like glitter and face gems. That was something I just did kind of myself. It was very, very small. I was packaging everything and posting it out. Like, it wasn't very proper. But this time I've gone big and I've done things properly. And yeah, so I think this time it's there's a lot of riding on this and it's just a much much bigger deal it's on a much bigger scale i'm working with a, an amazing company that's you know helped me be able to create this brand i've got an amazing team of people that have brought my vision to life and yeah it's just amazing that i can finally start sharing it with you guys and showing you snippets and over the next few weeks you're gonna see kind of more about the journey of how I got to this brand and the product launch, um, the build up, the testing, what the products are, what the ingredients are, the formula, um, everything. So yeah, we're going to be going into everything over the next few weeks. So expect a lot of content about it. And I hope you find it really interesting, informative and inspiring really. Like, yeah. You know, this is something I've dreamt of for years now. And I genuinely never thought it would happen. And, like, it's just crazy that I'm here. And I think back to all those times I've dyed my hair in the past. Like, not... And I like, imagine if then I knew that I would one day have my own hair brand. It's just mental. It's just mental. I mean, I just keep repeating myself, but... Yeah, thank you so much for all your lovely comments. Thank you so much for people signing up to the website um, to for the launch, um, to find out when the products launch and when the drop is. Um, thank you so much for yeah all your kind of DMs, comments. It's just yeah amazing. Feeling very very grateful and feel like I've calmed down a little bit now um, and I'm just processing it. But yeah, really excited for things for big things to come and I'm excited to see where this this goes and. The journey, this new journey that I'm on and that you guys are on with me. So, yeah, I'm going to get head to bed now. Dogs are in the bed. Um, just taking my makeup off with some micellar water. Uh, but yeah, Shadow, hey, come on. Um, yeah, I'm going to head to bed. Dogs can chill in the big bed with me for a little bit and then I'll take them down. New day tomorrow. Actually, I'm filming my Nutcracker look tomorrow. I think I am. Yeah, I'm gonna film my Nutcracker makeup look. So keep watching because that's gonna be a good look. Good look. Good Christmas look. Just filmed my Nutcracker look. Um, obviously, taking some of the bits off because I didn't want to like reveal it to you. I want you to go and watch the Instagram um, reels and TikToks. Sorry, my breath. I just run upstairs. <sighs> So hard running up like two flights of stairs. Um, yeah, didn't want to show the full finished look. Um, just thought I'd give you a little sneaky peek. But yeah, gonna go and wash this off now. Oh, been filming this morning, guys. There's literally not enough hours in the day and Robin's not here so he can't take some of the load off and it's just mental. Um, had some super exciting news today. Someone's actually inquired before I've even revealed what Sophie Hannah hair is. Someone's inquired um, to stock it on their website, which is mad, like a, an amazing beauty retailer. So yeah, it's just mental. Um, just, yeah, just so busy. And it's like half two, I've only just eaten lunch and I feel like the day is going away with me already. Um, but I had to film this morning and now I've just got to do loads and loads of like ad mini bits for Sophie Han hair. Um, I need to sort out my PR gifting. So I've got my list, which is great, but I'm just trying to sort out what I'm putting in the PR gifting box, which um, I'm going to get a PR gifting box and then I'm going to unbox it and show you guys what I'll put in there. Um, oh, 
I've also got a massive spot that's come up, like in my hairline today as well. I'm actually breaking out a lot. I've actually changed my foundation today because I do wonder whether it's me wearing the Becca Cosmetics Ultimate Coverage Foundation that's given me like the spots um, and breaking me out because I've been wearing it every day. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to have to jump on my computer now and it's time to do emails and admin. Oh my God, my hand is so sore. I um, have just written 30 PR little notes for all of my influences that I am gifting my first ever Sophie Hannah hair products to. Amazing, I hope they're gonna be so excited. Um, I'm actually gonna do an unboxing of the PR box next week so you guys can see um, what I've sent them so yeah that'll be really cute i think for a video idea but yeah just got these like little cards printed with my logo and then i've just written two and then their name i hope you love my first ever shh products i can't wait to see how you transform your hair with them lots of love sophie hannah gonna send those off tomorrow so they're gonna go in the pr boxes and then yeah guys in two days times so on tuesday well, actually, tomorrow, tomorrow is the big reveal of the product, what the product is going to be. Tomorrow, watch out um, on my stories, on the Sophie Hannah Hair Instagram page, big announcement at what the product is going to be. And on Tuesday will be a video on my YouTube channel of the whole Sophie Hannah hair journey. So like where I started, how I got to the launch, how I got to today. Um, so I thought that'd be interesting to do, show you lots of behind the scenes clips that I've been filming the whole like last 18 months to two years and also showing you guys me testing the product, all of my little behind the scenes photos and stuff. So yeah, gonna insert all of those in and then yeah. And then I've got a video, a tutorial of me using the product coming out on Tuesday on my Instagram. So lots happening this week, building up the buzz to the launch of Sophie Hannah Hair. So crazy. Uh, anyways, it's Friday night. It's quarter to nine. I've only really just stopped working, but I need to rest my hand now. God. It's so hard, like, writing the same thing, like, 30 times. Um, but I'm going to go and watch I'm a Celebrity now and just chill with the doggies on the sofa. Guys, I am going out for dinner tonight with the girls to celebrate the launch of my hair brand, which is really cute. We are going to go to Bill's. And, yeah. Um, I've done my makeup. Just lashes. Um, stuck down with my lash trick. Let me show you. Um, I shared it on my TikTok page actually. It's not my last trick. I found it off of a girl and I did it and it's literally insane. So I've not got any like eyeliner on or anything. It's just lashes and then you like stick your eyelid on top of the lash and it like secures it down. Really good. And then I just done a nude lip and went over my hair from yesterday. So yeah, let's go find something to wear. I think I kind of know what I want to wear. Um, but I need to find like a little top to go underneath it. So let's go upstairs to my dressing room. So I want to wear this sparkly blazer. How amazing is it? So this is from SLA, the label, Sarah Ashcroft's brand. When I saw it on her Instagram, I just had to buy it. I don't even, can you tell how sparkly it is? I hope you can, like it's incredible. Can we appreciate the sparkles? So yeah, gonna wear that, but I wanna wear it done up but it's quite um, like oversized. So I just need to find like a little tank top or something to go underneath it. So I found this little crop top, which works really, really well. And then I'm just gonna do up the little button. And as you can see, like it's quite oversized, but it's really, really nice. I love it. And then I've just got on my jeans. Let me show you. I'm actually gonna get a belt as well. So I've got on my Motel Rocks jeans. I'm gonna put on my black and silver Gucci belt. And then probably just black boots and then I'll go for like silver jewellery. Um, I bought some new silver jewellery the other day from a Bershka, so I think I'll wear that. Oh, that is a little bit too tight. Okay. Cute. Oh, so sparkly. 
Gonna go for my amazing 80s boots. Obsessed with this statement heel and the square toe. Then I bought these really cute earrings from Bershka. They're, oh, I need to take out these ones. They're Diamante um, in the shape of like hearts. Really, really cute. So I've got those just for like any sparkly Christmas content that I'm doing. And you guys know I love my jewelry. And I also bought a necklace from them as well. I'll show you. Just get these earrings in. Yeah, I got this necklace, which is really cute, and like a diamante choker. This one here. I say choker, but my neck is quite skinny. Um, so it's like a low choker, but I think it still really works. Um, to tighten it up, sometimes I stick a hairband at the back, um, like for my styling videos, but not when I go out, because, well, unless I'm wearing a wig or something to cover up the neck. To be fair, it does cover it up. Oh my God, did you hear my knee? My knee just cracked. Um, but yeah, I'll just leave it like that. I think that looks cute. Um, I think I'm good to go. Let me show you my outfit. And then this is my outfit, guys. Love a straight leg jean. Like, it's just so me. More than a skinny jean. I just love a straight leg. And these from Motel Rocks. I'm so glad I found some black jeans in time for, like, going out for dinners and just being out and about. I just love jeans, a nice top and boots. I actually filmed a styling video yesterday of, which actually featured this jacket of jeans and a nice top, which will be on my Instagram soon, just to give you lots of ideas and inspo. Just because a plain a black pair of jeans with a nice top is just so easy and simple um, for going out. So yeah, love it. And it's so sparkly. Right, let's go for dinner and cocktails. Well then before I go out, quick spirits of my Chanel. As we dance. Uh -huh. As we dance. As we dance. Oh, it is Sunday. And I'm working, yes. Uh, I'm just so busy at the moment and it's just all come at once. Obviously, so friggin' exciting that I'm launching a hair brand, but it's just a lot at once. Like I've never kind of experienced like what it's like to really launch a proper brand. Obviously you guys might know that I had Sophie Hannah Beauty ages ago, like literally like years ago, where I sold my glitter and my jewels, but I kind of just did it, it was very small, like it wasn't really proper, just did it on the side. Uh, but this is like being done properly, like I'm working with an amazing company that's helping me like launch this brand. And yeah, it's just very stressful. There's a lot going on in the background that also you guys don't really see. And yeah, I mean, I even had a dream last night that I basically messed, I messed up my whole diary and I had two photo shoots and I was meeting a friend on a day and I had basically, they were meant to be on different days and I'd booked them all on the same day without realizing because I've just been so stressed and not really thinking straight. And then when it came to it, I didn't do any of it. And then I was like dreading telling the brands that I hadn't turned up and I felt really bad and it was just really weird. And it was basically just, I think, how I'm feeling in real life just came out in my dream. <coughs> how I'm feeling in real life came out in my dream. Just, yeah. Basically, I missed um, my NHS physio appointment on Monday. It's in my diary. Completely forgot what day it was. I only realised yesterday that I hadn't turned up for it. And I was like, oh my God, I've never, ever done that before. So clearly, that's just shown me I've got so much on my mind at the moment and I just can't think straight. Um, so yeah, so kind of annoying that I missed that. But I have got an MRI scan booked privately this Friday um, for my brain and my back. 
that annoying that I've paid for, but I want to get to the bottom of my back because it hasn't actually even got better anyway. So in a way, it's probably be best that I didn't go to that physio appointment and I can get the MRI done, see what's wrong with my back, if there's anything that flags up, and then I can take that information to them. Um, but we'll see. And yeah, vertigo-wise, it's actually not been too bad lately, touch wood. So I do feel like I'm slowly coming out of it, but I notice that if I miss a tablet or I don't take my tablet in time, I get kind of a little bit of nausea and stuff and I feel a bit off. So not like as bad as it was before. So it is easing slowly, which is great, but we're going to do the MRI scan on my brain and we'll see. But yeah, uh, just very stressful at the moment, but I'll get there. I think once the brand is launched and we're into the swing of it, it'll be fine. I think it's just a lot at the beginning because I've never really done anything like this this before setting up the website I need to write blog posts and yeah and trying to kind of rework the brand into my current routine so I think it'll just take time but um yeah anyway guys make sure to check out Sophie and her hair tomorrow because we're revealing what the products are so exciting so yeah tune in for that and I'm gonna love you leave you take care stay safe and peace out